NBC Wednesday. See why Heist is television's most daring show. And the critics are raving. Heist is a joyride. Wow. Entertainment Weekly calls everyone's performance terrific. Have you thought about our getaway yet? Every episode gets you closer. It has to be now. To the heist of the century. If we do this right, we go down in history. An all-new heist, Wednesday, 10, 9 central on NBC. Welcome to the Abracadabra Total Fitness System. The only exercise machine in the world. Hey, you don't have time for perfect abs. You need to get your taxes done. TurboTax.com. Log on and you're done. At Ford, we believe that you should get more. More style with the new Ford Fusion. It's got the critics buzzing and has all the performance you want with less stops at the pump. Buy or lease a new Ford Fusion, and for a limited time, we'll match your down payment up to $1,000. With a $1,000 matching down payment, lease a Fusion SE for just $219 a month. Visit your neighborhood Ford store today. Three little girls testified that their own father sexually abused them. Now, years later, a shocking confession. None of it ever happened. My dad would never do that to us. Lives destroyed by lies on the next Montel. Tuesday at 4 on Wavy TV 10. From the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. New doubts about Virginia Beach's plan to save Oceana. Plus, stranger danger. I had to go inside and tell my mom first. A big lesson for a little girl almost lured with the promise of puppies. And fashion flap. Male students ruffling feathers by how they choose to dress. Good evening, everyone. We start with that story tonight. You'll see only on 10. Is it a crime of fashion for male students to wear dresses? Gloucester High School says yes. Tonight, students confronted school administrators. 10 on your side's Kay Young is live in Gloucester now with the latest. Kay? Well, David, the first male student to wear a dress to Gloucester, High, Gloucester County High School last week was told that that was unacceptable. Now, he was never punished for the outfit, but again, he was told he could not wear it to class. Well, tonight, he brought his complaint and his concerns, as well as the black dress, in an already scheduled public forum. The school, for the most part, does not have a policy on cross-gender dressing. The school, though... Now, there's no specific policy that says 16-year-old Michael Kaiser cannot wear the dress to school. However, he did put it on for tonight's public forum. Now, he chose to wear it because he says it's, an ex it's a matter of expression. When he was told that it was unacceptable, another male student wore a dress to Gloucester County High. And then guys and girls at the school tried a peaceful protest with a sit-in on Friday. Tonight, the school administrators listened to students' arguments, but they did not change their minds. Kaiser and his friends say that he should be allowed to wear it and they don't think understand the problem I like wearing girls clothes I, I, I mean I don't know why it's just something it's just different and uh, I decided that one day I was gonna do it at school and they made such a big deal out of it and I didn't understand why and our immediate posture is that we believe young men who dress as women uh, in the classroom would be disruptive to the instructional environment now, in addition to that, our posture is that we believe it could be a safety hazard to the young man or young men who choose to do this. Now, as far as safety goes, the superintendent says that there are 1,900 students at the school, and he worries that they would not be as open to Kaiser's position. Now, he did speak with students at length tonight, even after 9 o'clock, telling them if they do a little bit more research, come back with some ways that possibly they could change the policy, that he would be more than happy to hear from them and to speak with them further about the issue. David? Interesting. Kay Young, live tonight in Gloucester. Thanks. Well, with an important deadline coming up this week,